What's up guys and welcome back to the channel again. Today we're back again with Tom McDonald. I told you guys. I'm a fan now. I'm a fan of this guy now. And now look, look at what's happening in the world right now when he's released a track called Coronavirus. Now, obviously, I mean for us in the UK here, people have been going crazy with this stuff. Like people are panic buying like it's the end of the world. Literally, you go to the stores. You can't find anything in the stores. All the essentials are all gone. Gone, like literally. If you're not there when the truck arrives, then you're not going to get what you need. You know what I mean? So, anyways, made a track called Coronavirus. I don't know what to expect. Obviously, he's going to be talking about the virus. He's probably going to be talking about pandemics and the way they spread. He's probably... Maybe a reference to um, The Walking Dead, maybe, or <clears throat> maybe some conspiracy theory stuff might come up. I don't know. But I'm excited to hear this because, you know, Tom McDonald. <clears throat> For me, I don't know what to expect from Tom McDonald because, you know, I don't know him as well as you guys do. But, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to jump jump into this. Leave a like, subscribe. And let's hear what he's got to say. I don't know what to think about this virus. Started in China, now everybody in America's hiding. There's no. Started in China, but everyone in America's hiding. Like. <laughs> It's crazy because, do you know what? The numbers went up so quickly, yeah, that it literally shook the whole world into panic, into panic, you know? Like, the store that he was standing in, nothing on the shelves, like, pretty much, yeah, nothing on the shelves, and that's how it is. That's literally how it is over here. You know? Let's hear it, let's hear it. I personally don't believe it started in China, but let's see. China now everybody in America's hiding There's no groceries cause people start to panic and buy it The shelves are empty, the ones with plenty already stockpiling Y'all making memes, think it's funny? Wait a week till the riots In it? Oh, this. In it? Bruv <laughs> That right there is f Oh my days, look You guys are Like some people are sitting there making memes Bro, you think it's funny? Wait till the riots. Wait till somebody gets mad because they can't get food or they can't get something. Someone's getting robbed. Do you know what I mean? Someone, something's going to happen. You know, if if something doesn't change, right? So all these people that are being greedy, buying up all this, bro. If you get robbed, don't be surprised. You know, because this is a, this is a point in time where people are, people are not looking for money now. Do you know what I mean? People are not looking for money. People are looking for food. Do you know what I mean? People are looking for, for stuff so that they can survive. It's not about money anymore. So, all these people that are buying all the stuff, bruv, it's... <laughs> don't play. Don't play. You know? And also, if you're out there, be careful, man. Because you never know what the next man's going to do when, when they're hungry. Anyway. I wonder what store this is that he's walking through. And if it's actually the real state of the store or they actually clean that up. Let's see. Stockpiling, y'all making memes. Think it's funny? Wait a week till the riots. Wait a month till the only way to eat is be violent. It's not the sickness is scary. It's all the people who while in the government lying. They trying to keep us calm through the sirens. <laughs> this is what I was saying. It's not... It's not the state. It's, it's the people. Bruv, it's the people or everyone who's um everyone who's buying watch what happens yeah when the only way to eat is to be violent bruv honestly like it's not a game like it's not a game yeah and obviously like for me the conspiracy is coming up now where he was talking about how the government the government's covering up stuff look I believe that and the way the reason why I believe that is 
Look, every year there's a new flu, bro. Isn't that, isn't that weird? Every year there's a new flu, and every year there's a pattern of um, who makes the money in terms of who makes the drugs for that medicine. Now, I think this one is another one that was created in a lab or something, or, you know, the rats escaped from that. Bro, look, let me tell you something, yeah? I've, I have experience working in, in, in places like that. Yeah, with these labs and all of that. Look, the way they design these places, yeah, these animals cannot get out. They cannot escape. They can't. There is, you, you can't. You can't escape. So, someone let it out. This is what I'm saying. Someone let it out. You know, this is some experiment, and I think they just wanted to try it out in China, and then that's where it, that's where it started. But no, nah, it's not where it started. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't believe that it started in China like that. You know, I also believe that there's a cover up somewhere. You know, it's like Ebola. Ebola was here. It was it. It was kind of like this, and then it just went away. Hmm. What happened during that time? Someone let me know. People who whine in the government lying, they trying to keep us calm through the sirens, you know it's for real. And all the pharmaceutical giants don't have a cure that they can sell you, so now everyone's dying. There's no vaccines or medication made that can fight it. I guess it's time to pray to God we can't rely on the science. There's a, look, some people are going to come to some realization. Yeah, some people are going to come to some proper realization about this. I forgot my goggles, man. Anyway, we're properly in the lab now. I just realized that. Sorry. I guess it's time to pray to God we can't rely on the sun. Yeah. Look, it's time to pray to God now. People are going to find God now. <laughs> you know? I'm not forcing God on people, but do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people who won't have anywhere to turn that's where they're gonna turn science and everyone around me in a mask and some gloves the stock market crashed and the banks about the bus tell us sanitize our hands this will pass it's a bug stay inside you'll be fine till we're trapped there for months there right there is the frustration look i don't know how it is where you're from but over here you know schools are being shut workplaces are being shut you know people don't know what to do people who don't have money don't know what to do anymore um you know people who actually go to work are scared of getting it because you know they have to go to work you know people are trying to find any excuse not to be at work you know it's 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 it's, it's crazy it's crazy and it's stressful and it's frustrating because at some point you know we're going to be asked to go home you know, I'm still going to work, by the way, you know, but, you know, at the point when you're told to go home, what do you do? I mean, you've seen, I don't know if you've seen the videos of the people in Italy who've been told to stay at home, Like, they're finding ways to communicate with each other, they're finding ways to make a community, you know, singing on the balcony, playing tennis over the balcony, all that kind of stuff, like, it's, it's, it's nice to see that people are creating like that sense of community, but it's really frustrating when you're told to stay at home because, you know, they want to limit, they want to limit the way it's getting spread. Now, it's like, it's scary because it's like, okay, you can come between two meters with someone. You can come in two, me two meters with someone and contract it, you know? But you don't know who's got it, so you don't know who to go around. You don't know who to stay away from. You know, it's, it's look on eBay. On eBay, yeah, I saw I saw toilet rolls being sold for eight thousand pound. People are taking the piss, yeah. But like, you can't like you can't do that. You can't do that. Like, anyway. Yeah, but anyway, in this look, there's got there's some frustration. The same you should stay at home. Like, someone's gonna get upset. You know. Bugs, stay inside. You'll be fine till we're trapped there for months. 
It's a ghost town, we're in this together They're closing all the stores down, we're heading for shelter It's a war now, they'll always remember It's true, this is the pandemic of our time, you know But when we grow up, this is what the kids are going to be learning in history Do you know what I mean? Corona the new black death the black death of the 21st century kind of thing you know um but stores are closing work is closing you know governments don't know how to deal with it properly you know how what is the state of your national health service you know some countries don't even have a national health service you know can your health service can your health service um, cope with the number of people that are coming in? You know, all of this staying at home stuff is literally to help the health service cope with whoever's coming in. Uh, it's, it's scary because you know that if you get it and you go to the hospital and stuff, you might not be seen. It might be too late for you. It might be too early for you. You know, but stay... Um, connected to the information and don't get misled by the wrong information a lot of people are getting misled by the wrong information I'll go into this a little bit later on this a pandemic but we don't listen to the news because they lied to us for years so how we know that this the truth hey Hey, it's uh, it's so true. It's a it's a pandemic. That's true. But we don't listen to the news anymore because they've been lying to us all this time. How we how they expect us to believe them straight away like that? But do you know what? A lot of people have believed them straight away. You know, which is the thing is, the thing is, yeah. You can't not take this seriously, but. How serious can you take the news? You know, after all the trouble that's been going on. I don't have to say much about that because we all know. <sighs> news because they lied to us for years. So how we know that this is the truth? And most of us are young enough to think that we're immune. So we just pass it on to people who won't survive it like you. It's either. Most of, most of us are young enough to think that we're immune. So we feel comfortable passing it to people who aren't. Yo, it's true, you know, it's true, but, come on, man. They're young enough to think that we're immune, so we just pass it on to people who won't survive it like you. It's either worse than they're telling us, or it's nothing at all. But the school shut down, a ghost town in the mall. They go quarantine the city, block the road out of Dodge, then tell us leaving our homes is actually breaking the law. Yo. Right there, he, he just broke down martial law. You know, it feels like it's going to get to the point where, you know, to the point where leaving your home is against the law. You know, that's martial law. You know, you can't go anywhere to get anything. How are you going to eat? How are you going to survive? You know, a lot of people are, are being laid off of work. What are they going to do? You know, there's a whole lot of fiasco. There's a fiasco about how you're gonna pay your rent or your or, or your mortgage or, or any of that stuff if you're not gonna get paid. You know, there's there's problems that come with this thing. You know, yesterday, like literally yesterday morning, I was I was in the supermarket, yeah, and there was a lady crying because she actually couldn't get food for her child and she's been around to so many supermarkets and can't get food for her child you know it's so serious that like people buying up everything so quickly not thinking about the next person you know don't let the tables turn like the take him the road out of dodge then tell us leaving our homes is actually breaking the law this is just the beginning you know it's got to get worse if the doctors get sick the hospitals won't work that's it. If the doctors get sick, the hospitals don't work now. 
It's mad. It's mad. Like, people are not thinking this through. You know? You get sick, you go to the hospital. But this is a pandemic. So, if all of these people are going to the hospital, the staff for the hospital are at risk as well. You know? People forget that doctors are human beings. Like, um, hospital staff are human beings, you know? They're human beings as well. They get sick too. But people don't think about it like that. Gotta get worse. If the doctors get sick, the hospitals won't work. The conspiracy theories all sound like facts, that's for sure. But the fact is, we're trapped on this planet called Earth. And the bleach gone, the bread gone, the water sold out. The meat gone, the milk gone, the pasta sold out. Don't leave anything for anyone. You hoard it for yourself. You'd rather tell them go to hell than be a man and go and help. Mm. Come on. Oh, yes. Like, yes. These are the things that need to be said. People need to hear this. People need to hear that. Look. Nothing on the shelves, you know, and people are not thinking about the next man. You know? Why, why are you buying a hundred rolls of toilet paper, bruv? You know, and then you ask them, oh, how many people do you live with? Oh, it's just me. You know, there's nothing, literally nothing on the shelves. Yeah? You rather tell somebody that they should go to hell rather than being a man and going to hell. Look. It, it would be so much better if we were geared to help each other. But in, in, in these kind of Western societies that we live in, you're taught not to help the next man. You're actually taught to climb above the next man. And that's not healthy. That doesn't help anyone. You know? Look, what goes around comes around, you know? Yeah? What goes around fully comes around. When it's your turn, bruv, you're going to get it worse than what you gave. Another day for you and me in paradise, man. Yourself, you'd rather tell them go to hell than be a man and go and help. It's a ghost town, we're in this together. They're closing all the stores down, we're heading for shelter. We're in this together. Do you know, look, the way to solve this issue is to help one another get through it. And a lot of people don't actually understand what that means. A lot of people just think, oh, it's gossiping about what was said on the news today. Oh, this many people are dead now. This many people are infected. Bro, that's not it. How do we get past this problem? How do we solve it? I'll get into that a little bit later. It's a war now they'll always remember when locking out our doors down we're sticking together we're hoping for the best but we're preparing for the worst there's one thing we're not scared of it's hard work we're up against an enemy that doesn't have a face there's no bombs we can drop there's nowhere we can aim do you know what this is the quickest the whole world has shared information with each other you know <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just picking out that from what he's saying there. Like, this, this thing doesn't have a face. It doesn't have a country. You know, and we're scared the hell out of it. You know, and bruv, look at what's going on around the world. This country's got this kind of rule. This country's got that rule. You know, you can't fly in and out of different places. And anyway, we'll get into it. And also the washing of hands. Look, people, there's some people here yeah, that are behaving like the washing of hands is a brand new discovery, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. But we're preparing for the worst. There's one thing we're not scared of, it's hard work. We're up against an enemy that doesn't have a face. There's no bombs we can drop. There's nowhere we can aim. There's no soldiers to stop with a tank at the gates. There's no cure that we've got or a pill we can take. There's no food, it's been bought. The truth is, we're afraid. We sit inside our rooms and we pray. It's a ghost town. 
we sit inside our rooms and we pray because we're afraid, man. And that's the thing. Why is it, yeah, that not, we've not been given the correct advice as to what to do? You know, we're told we're actually told to run and hide, and 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 and, and you know, driven in the direction of the panic. But there's another side to it, you know. All the time, you know, and and this is literally in everything that the news does. This is why we don't trust the news because, bro, all of these people that we've seen America go after, yeah, all of these wars that America have had recently. There's another side to it, bro. There's always another side to it, and that's what you gotta be careful of. You gotta know the other side to understand the full picture. If you don't, you're gonna believe just the one side, which is what the media will tell you. You know, talk to the people of 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 where this thing comes from. You know, for instance, there's a whole lot of stuff that people don't know about Saddam Hussein. There's a whole lot of stuff that people didn't know about uh, about uh, Bush's war. That's what I call it. Bush's war. That's Bush's war. You know? Mosh. Anyway. Let's get back into this. Pray. It's a ghost town. We're in this together. They're closing all the stores down. We're heading for shelter. It's a war now. They'll always remember. We're locking all our doors down. We're sticking Be smart, be strong, be safe. Together we will overcome. Do your part. Important words there. Important words there. Alright. So, that's Tom McDonald coronavirus. Yeah? Now, all the points that he made in that track are really important. And... For what I said I was going to go into, a lot of people don't know, I mean, sorry, the media has taken a turn to make dramatic stories so that they get the views or they get the ratings that uh, that they can get. But what they don't realise, yeah, is that with that, they're creating panic. And what happens when you panic? We're seeing the stores, they're empty now. Yeah, someone is not going to be able to get their food, and the only way they're they're going to be able to get food is to rob someone. Do you know what I mean? And that we don't want to get that far, you know. But the media has made it that way. Important things, yes, we know we need to wash our hands. You know, over here we're singing a happy birthday, washing our hands. Well, I'm not doing it, but that's that. That's how long you should wash your hands for. Um, using hand sanitizer, you know, um, avoiding contact with other people, you know, not shaking hands directly, you know, doing the show, doing the elbow bump and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, instead of panicking, do you, do the research, listen to the people, actually listen to the doctors who are actually posting the videos on Facebook and stuff, you know, because there's there's information there. You know, do you know why when you are ill, your body raises its temperature? Your body raises its temperature, yeah, so that it can kill whatever whatever virus um, is affecting you. Yeah, in this case, we I've I've seen many videos and there's many different doctors talking about how. It's actually not a hard thing to deal with when you get it, if you get it. You know, if you actually get it, it's not a hard virus to deal with, right? It's just the number of people that have come in with the virus is very hard to take care of. That's what they're, that's what they're struggling to cope with. Not healing, not healing the people, it's the number of people that are coming, you know? Take a hospital, a hospital that's got, I don't know, 300 beds or something. Yeah, how is a hospital that's got 300 beds going to deal with 
20,000 people. There's the problem. That's why they're asking to stay at home, blah, 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 blah. It's not a hard, it's not a hard virus to deal with because your body will naturally kill it, right? But the panic, the stress from it, you know, uncertainty is causing problems with people, right? Now I've heard there's, look, paracetamol is another thing that is missing from the stores. Why? Because that is the best, that for now is the best medicine to take to deal with it. All right, a lot of the people, well, in this country anyway, a lot of the people who have died from it, or most of the people who have died from it, have had traces of uh, anti-inflammatory drugs like uh, ibuprofen. Yeah, so try to stay away from them kind of drugs. Yeah, I'm just passing on information that that I, I've I've heard from from around the sources. Yeah. But then also, what you need to do is to do your research. I'm going to try and find this, this website. There's a website that tells you um, the number of cases that have been reported around the world, right? And how they're coping with it. Okay. I was panicking myself in the beginning, but when I saw this website, yeah, it taught me something. Now... You see how in the beginning things were going crazy in China, like oh, 50,000 people have got it, 60,000 people have got it, you know, so many people die from it. When I was sent that link to that website, yeah, at that point China had a total of, a, of around about 80,000 cases, yeah. Now, here's, here's the funny bit. 80,000 cases, right? 50,000 cases cured. The news didn't say that bit. Do you know what I mean? 50,000 of that 80,000 had been cured. Right? What? Well, that's what? Like 66% or something? You know, that's like, yeah. That's around about 60, 60-ish, 60 65%-ish of the total number of cases in China at that time were cured, right? But we're not, they're not reporting the number of cases cured and that's what's freaking people out. If I told you that 10 people had this sickness, yeah? And just by doing self-medication and all this kind of stuff, eight of those people have been cured of it, right? And these other two people they still have it, but are getting better. Wouldn't that calm you down? But they're not telling us that bit. And that's where you come in. You need to do your own research so you can find out. So what I'm going to do is when I post this video, I'm going to I'm going to post the link down below. Maybe there's going to be a card somewhere. Um, but yeah, do your research and, you know, try to stay sane and try not to do anything crazy. All right. You know, stay safe, stay well, um, try not to be stressed, entertain yourself, um, and if there's any violence soon, try not to get involved, please. Alright, post your comments down below, let me know what you thought about the song, let me know what you thought about my reaction to it. If I missed anything, um, let me know. If there's any information that you can share, share it here as well, and yeah, I mean, let's support each other through this. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care.